Good morning and welcome back to another video and today we are going to be going over the five gold farms which you probably have not seen. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Hey guys, so today we're going to be going over the five gold farms which you probably haven't seen. So that being the case, let's get into number one. Number one is the polymorph tome of the bear, of the polar bear to be precise. But this is a mage specific farm, so if you have a mage, pretty damn good. If not, skip ahead to number two. This can be found in Dragon Blight, and all you have to do is get your mage, go over to Dragon Blight, and go over near Azure Narub over Ha. And basically, kill polar bears. You have a chance of every time you kill a polar bear to receive the poem of the top, the tome of the polymorph polar bear. And this can be sold on the auction house for a decent amount of gold. And the average of this actual polar bear polymorph tome is roughly around about, on average, is around about 17,000 gold per one. I usually average about three per hour. This is how fast, this is all based on how many you can actually kill per hour and a little bit of RNG. With your... With your mage, I would re really recommend that you actually do arcane, as you can do a lot of burst damage and AoE effects in order to actually kill these polar bears really fast. And you can use like your double blink in order to get there and pretty much do them in, so to speak. But at the end of the day, it does equal to a nice amount of gold each and every hour. It is borderline... 50,000 gold per hour, but at the end of the day you still need to sell this stuff So it's kind of like transmog so to speak and it is a very niche market as it is only specifically sold towards mages But lazy mages that can't be bothered to actually go out and farm this stuff This is why we are here to, in order to farm up these tomes for polymorph number two is the devil I saw leather the Devil I Saw Leather can be found in the Unguro Crater, which is located in Kalimdor. Now, all you have to do here is just run along the actual outsides of Unguro Crater and look for any Devil Saws. Basically, any big-ass freaking dinosaurs. The big-ass freaking dinosaurs are called Devil Saws, so pretty much add that into your target and just type in Devil Saw. You'll be able to target any of the Devilosaurs when they come up, go over to them, kill them, and skin them. The Devilosaur leather averages from around about 100 to 300 gold per piece, and depending on how fast you are on finding these things, so at first you're probably not going to be that good at finding them, but after a little while you'll kind of get a gist where they spawn, where they're going to be, and all that jazz and over time you'll be able to make a decent amount of gold from that. But it's not specifically from that leather, just by selling that leather you're going to make a lot of gold. You can make a somewhat decent amount of gold with the Devil of Saw leather, just by selling it how it is, but I would personally recommend crafting the transmog in which requires the Devil of Saw leather. This is mainly because the transmog that goes hand in hand with the Devil of Saw leather sells for a lot more gold on average, and and if you are a transport seller, it's probably one of those things you should double down on because it's a very niche market in order to get hold of the Devil of Saw leather, let alone crafting the transmog to go with it, which you then can place on the auction house and then be able to make gold back from. And judging by how niche it is, that is why the gold, the actual gold price for those Devil of Saw Diff different types of transmog pieces actually sell for mega gold in the long run because it's such a niche market. This is why it's personally, that's why I personally love doing this because you are pretty much uncontested when it comes to selling them on the auction house because I'm pretty much uncontested when selling Devil or leather, let alone the transmog that goes with it, which I can have a complete monopoly upon at this moment in time. Now, obviously, with the now obviously when it comes to doing this now, just by watching the video, you're probably going to find some contestants. But the best way of actually overcoming this is by just persistence because most people just do it once and then expect a massive gold reward the best thing you should do is just keep on at it and keep doing it and then you will see a big gold in investment over time 
because the, your bulky majority is going to come over time and not in short little bursts. So that being the case, let's move on to number three. Number three is the Magical Crawdad. And this can be found in the Outland Fishing. Now specifically showcased, this will be, this is located in the Terracar Forest. And the best place to actually farm up the Magical Crawdad is over here in Sketis. And this is in the ponds over here. It is done by fishing and it is a very RNG based actual farm. But the magical crawdad on average, but on average the magical crawdad sells for a mean price, you judging by the Undermine Journal, is around about 18,000 gold upon average across multiple different servers. But for the EU mean, it is around about 39,000 gold. So it's well worth your time getting your fishing rod and going over to Sketis and farming up the magical crawdad now this is heavily rng based but if you do get this you do get a nice little achievement when it comes with it for mr pinchy so pretty damn good if i do say so myself but the basically the things that you need to be going for is the pools and the pools can be farmed up uh anywhere in sketis so focus on those when you're actually flying around in a circle doing that because you have a higher chance of getting the magical crawd out along with that other than that guys let's move on to number four and that and that is a pattern and the pattern is the mithril mechanical dragonling and this can be found in the hinted lands now the hinted lands is found in the eastern kingdoms and i will show you right ha ta 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 eastern king uh, hinted lands there we go the hinted lands over here i'm going to place a I'm going to place an image on where you can actually find it, so have a look right there. And basically it's just an NPC who just stands there. And this is a one-time pattern that you can actually get a hold of. You can then sell the pattern on the auction house for a fairly decent amount of gold. But the best way of actually making gold from this is actually by learning how to make this. Because the cost of materials for the mithril dragonling is actually next to nothing. It's next to nothing and the battle pet sells pretty damn fast in the grand scheme of battle pets and it usually averages anywhere from like around about 2,000 to 10,000 gold depending on your realm so to speak. So I would recommend double checking in your auction house before you actually make a massive amount of them but at the end of the day if you're going to create a massive amount of them it doesn't really matter because you're only spending like 10 gold to make one. So at the end of the day, you're not making that much of a massive loss, so to speak. So I would highly recommend that you get a hold of this pattern and make sure that you just have them on the auction house at all times because it's one of those ones that you can just add into your gold farming and then see if you can make additional gold along with that. Now, lastly, I would like to talk about is the War Bear Leather. Now, War Bear Leather was talked about a few years back, and there was a big hoo-ha about this, but since the release of BFA, we've got a new load of people who have come into this and are new to gold making. So, hello and welcome to gold making. Ta-da! But um, other than that, the War Bear Leather is a skinning profession material which is found in Kalimdor in Winter Spring. Now, the best place to actually go is go over to the Starfall Village over here, and all around this area over here is a load of bears. Now, all you have to do is just kill the bears and skin them, and you have a roughly around about 40% chance in order to get the war bear leather from those bears. The, the thing that you can actually use this war bear leather is kind of like the Devilosaur leather, you can also sell this on the auction house for a decent amount of gold flat out for the leather. But the best thing to do is craft it into the transmore pieces, which is the, the War Bear Woolies. As they are such a particular niche item, there is, is mainly uncontested at this moment in time. And at the end of the day, will provide you with a decent amount of gold within the long run. Other than that, guys, what did you think of this list? Did you find any of the farms that you didn't know about, put them in your comment section down below. I'd love to see your thoughts on all of this. Other than that, if you already knew all of this stuff, then congrats, seriously, congrats, because 
I actually forgot about a few of these things. And at the end of the day, we all forget stuff. So I'm just trying to reiterate some old stuff that people may have forgotten from like vanilla and all of that jazz and BC. So hopefully this has been helpful and it's given you some additional farms that you can do on your day to day. Other than that guys, have a lovely rest of the day and I shall see you on the next video, which will be on Wednesday. Take it easy guys.